Hey guys, Doubt here. So I kept climbing some yesterday and double bossing in the goblin caves, and I remembered why I didn't enjoy climbing last season. Bossing is still fun and exciting to see what kind of loot we get, so I'm probably going to keep doing it, but I hardly got into any PvP yesterday in the two hours I was playing. Most people just ran away or would sit next to a portal or a static extract, and as soon as I'd start to push, they'd just leave. When that happens over and over, I get a little antsy and start to take fights really poorly because I just want to fight, and I basically just W key, which isn't always the best on Bard unless you're out gearing the other players, and you'll see what happens here if you don't. If I don't run into too much PvP today, wall bossing, I'll probably start to level a rogue to get into some more fights and norms, and and low level lobbies where people aren't as worried about dying so they'll actually fight you anyway for this video i'm gonna have three cave troll and three cyclops fights after that the very little pvp that i get into and then a couple fun moments hope y'all enjoy all right and i do have a cave troll and a cyclops guide up on my channel i'll have those linked down in the description below if you want to see those but for these fights i'm not really going to talk because it's just the same things over and over i just know that some people like seeing the loot that you can get from them and other people who are trying to learn the boss fights would like to see them so i was just going to leave them here for whoever wants them if you don't care about bossing then you can just skip these and go to the next things Thank you. 
The first fight that we're going to get into is against the Barbarian. What we're going to do is just kite him out and use our survival boost on him. And then after we hit him a few times, we're going to be able to go into melee. I didn't mean to fall there, but we hit Lament, which means that we're going to be able to kite him out now. But he took that as an opportunity to run away. And remember when I said that everyone just sits by either a portal or a static extract? Well, now that he has a safety, he feels confident. So he's going to start throwing Francesca's back and actually trying to fight us now. Me getting hit there was really bad, but we should be able to recover from it. If he pushes us, then we're just going to keep cutting back. If he doesn't, we're just going to keep shooting him until we feel confident to run in. Now that we've hit him a couple more times, we're going to push into melee, but he just takes the portal and leaves. Here I was running to Cyclops, and then a wild rogue was actually down here already, and he just keeps running. Also notice that Shriek of Weakness actually shows stealth rogues now. I never saw this as a change. I don't know if it's intended or not, but rogues are down bad. If I hit my shots, this could have been a lot better. Since I didn't, I'm just going to go to Cyclops. I don't want to chase a rogue through the entirety of the map. And this is a really good learning experience, both for me and for everyone else here. I saw this wizard here and I started to push him. I did it really stupidly. Like I should just be using my survival bow, but I just wanted to get into melee. When I did, he used magic missile. I'm supposed to just put my shield up. If you put your shield up, it'll block the magic missiles. As soon as magic missile ends, you can just melee them and kill them. But I didn't put my shield up. And people will shoot me all the time and then run away when I'm doing bosses. So I just decided to do it here and this bard ended up dying to the boss. But during that, a rogue that was fully naked tried to come up behind me and kill me. So I just two tapped him. While also fighting people, I decided to be friendly to some people. This guy actually killed Troll. So I looted the center room and there was a three will to truth his cape and I was deciding to come over and give it to him. He didn't trust me at first, obviously, but I was like, hey, here's this cape. Take it. I'm going to go loot my pile. And then he actually came over here later and he dropped off some raw hides with three ad fizz. So yeah, making friends in the dungeon. Something else I was doing was that I was killing one of the two bosses and then the first person I'd find would be like, hey, I just killed this. Go get the loot pile. I'm going to the other boss. I really need to start recording my microphone when I record games. Yeah, thanks. I'll check it out. 
All right, and lastly, the center room between the two boss loot piles. I actually have a chance to drop uniques. I got these plate pants there. All right, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that there wasn't more PvP. I was genuinely trying to get into more, but uh, the only times that I did, I just got so excited that I found someone that wanted to fight that I just played it like an absolute idiot. If you enjoyed the content, please just give me a comment, a like, or subscribe to the channel. Anything and everything helps, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you who do that. Also, if you're wanting to join a community of people who like Dark and Darker and other video games like it, you want to get into a group with people, or you just want to keep more up to date with me, I'm going to have my community discord linked in the description below. Feel free to click that, come by and say hey. And lastly, I hope that each and every one of you have a very great day and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.